All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation six to the power of x is equal to 18. So to solve this equation, I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of six to the power of x is equal to log of 18. Now from here, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So I get b times log a. In this case, I have log 6 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 6 is equal to log 18. Now, from here, I want to solve for x. So to do that, I'm going to divide both sides by log 6. So now these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 18 over log 6. Now this turns into log of 6 times 3 over log of 6. So all I did was rewrote log 18 as log of 6 times 3. And now from here, I'm going to use the property of logarithms that states that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, a is 6 and b is 3. So I get x is equal to log of 6 plus log of 3 over log of 6. Now I can rewrite this as log of 6 over log 6 plus log 3 over log 6. Now log 6 and log 6 cancel out to get 1. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 3 over log 6. And I'm going to do, I'm going to rewrite this again as log 3 over log of 3 times 2. So now from here, we can reuse the property log a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So this turns into log 3 over log 3 plus log 2 because a is 3 and b is 2. And now I get 1 plus log 3 over log 3 plus log 3 over log 2. So now these two again cancel out to get 1. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 1 plus log 3 over log 2. Now, 1 plus 1 is 2, so I get x is equal to 2 plus log 3 over log 2. Now, log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771, and log 2 is equal to 0 0.301. So I get 0 0.4771 over 0 0.301 plus 2. So 0 0.4771 divided by 0 0.301 is equal to 1.58 
So I get x equals 2 plus 1.585, which is equal to 3.585. So this is my answer.